You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, ABC Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your General Hospital latest official promo for this week. And it is as we head into May sweeps, and there's a big explosion in tension. And of course, we're expecting more movement on the Victor Cassidyne plot. But this promo focuses almost solely on things related to Michael and Willow's wedding. And boy, is it going to be a bombshell. And it looks like something huge is going to go down. We are going to tell you what's in the promo, break it down for you about what it means in relation to the current spoilers, and then we're going to show you the promo so you can see it for yourself. Real quick before we dig into all that, click that subscribe button below if you haven't already subscribed to follow Soap Dirt on YouTube so you don't miss any of your big general hospital updates, comings and goings, casting news, everything you need to know about your favorite ABC soap opera. So in this new general hospital promo for this week, there are six big scenes and they all send except for two around the wedding and the two that don't one has to do with the wedding and one has to do with the victor thing so the first scene is the wedding at the Quartermain mansion and we see carly walking willow down the aisle which is strange because you remember she had asked drew kane to walk her down the aisle but it's Carly with Willow on her arm. The second scene is Michael looking overjoyed to see his bride, saying this is the happiest day of my life. Then the third scene is Carly and Jocelyn, and Jocelyn is worried looking and says, it's not all good news, is it? And then we see a scene with three different, four different faces, and the voiceover is unforgiving bombshell. And behind that, we see Sunny glaring, we see Curtis and Drew with serious faces, and we see Portia with teary eyes. And the fifth scene is Ava asking Nina, what did you do? And that's a very good question. The sixth scene is Carly, Willow, and Michael, and they are all staring in shock at the wedding and it looks like they're looking through the open door so perhaps someone is coming into the wedding so that's what you're going to see in the promo that we're going to show you in just a few minutes but let's talk about what these mean and in the larger context what you're going to be seeing so carly walking willow down the aisle Drew Kane was supposed to walk her down the aisle, but he is working with Curtis Ashford trying to find Trina, trying to find Victor. And so it looks like Drew may not come to the wedding. We'll have to wait and see. But he knows that there's something in his mind related to Project Demeter that relates to what Victor is doing. And so they're trying to get a bead on her because you might remember that Drew lost his son, Oscar, and he from cancer when Oscar was a teenager that was a few years back and so Drew had remarked that it's hard to get to know a child and then you lose them because that's what happened with him and then Curtis is kind of in this situation although he doesn't know for certain whether Trina is his biological child yet the fact is he could lose her before he gets to know her better before they get to find out the truth of her paternity so there's a lot of sympathy going on there so that might be why Drew isn't at the wedding which may present some other interesting scenarios So imagine this for Nina. Sonny has gotten an invite to the wedding, but Michael made it very clear that the invite did not extend to Nina as his plus one. So Nina knows that her only remaining daughter, who is dying, is getting married today. And she's probably really going to lose it when she finds out Carly walked her down the aisle when she's not even allowed in the room. And Ava had talked to Carly about her trying to build a bridge to help Nina get close to her daughter because Carly has lost a grown child. She lost Morgan. She knows the pain, but she is absolutely inflexible when it comes to Nina, despite all the second, third, ninth, 27th chances that Carly has gotten. And I know people are either hardcore team Carly or team Nina, but you know, if you think about it, this is her one remaining child who is dying. This is like her only chance to be at the wedding of one of her children. And Carly is doing all she can to block that. Let's be real. She's not even trying to create any any atmosphere where Nina might be welcome. She is just hardcore determined and it, it's cruel. Let's face it. No matter whose team you're on, it's cruel what's happening right now. So, but Carly doesn't care. And so she was really nasty to Nina the other day and Nina has decided to do something and it looks like that something could play out at the wedding and it's a huge deal. The scene where Michael's saying this is the happiest day of my life is obvious because he's so happy to see Willow on her feet for their marriage 
marriage, but this is going to turn bad because I believe something bad is going to happen to his mom at this wedding. And then Willow is about to be on her deathbed because Liesl Obrecht is still gone and in her body is the bone marrow that needs to be transplanted in to Willow to save her life. And that doesn't look like it's happening. So this has got to be very bittersweet for Michael Corinthos because this happiest day is going to turn into one of the worst weeks of his life going into the first full week of May sweeps. Then we have Carly and Joss talking about it's not all good news, is it? So we expect more from them about how bad Willow's health is, how weak she is, and that there's still no sign that they are going to be able to get Liesl back there to save her life. And Carly's very upset about the idea of losing Willow, but she also, she is not appreciating the fact at all that things might not have gotten this far with Willow's health if Carly had told the truth months ago. She sat on that truth about her while that cancer was getting worse. And now, of course, Carly didn't know about the cancer then, but if she had not been doing what she likes to do, which is keeping biological children away from their parents, because this is not her first rodeo doing this, then this situation might not have gotten this bad. You might remember that when Spencer is little, was a little baby, Carly was lying to keep him away from Nicholas. She's done that before. She lied about Alexis Davis's baby's paternity to keep Christina away from Sonny. She lied about her own son, Michael, and who his father was. Carly is a habitual baby paternity liar, and she has pushed Nina too far. And when things blow up, it feels like that both Nina and Carly have caused this situation by just continuing to hit at each other, and it's about to explode in a messy way. The scene with unforgiving bombshell, we'll have to wait and see because the bombshell could be about the insider trading charges, and that's what we see is going to happen. In the next scene, one of the scenes outside of the wedding, Ava asks Nina, what did you do? Nina is going to report Carly for insider trading. To be fair, Carly is guilty. She did that. She took information that she got from Drew in private about the IPO, and she was buying up a bunch of stock. And you might say, oh, well, she's been punished enough because she wound up losing her her hotel half, and Nina now owns that half. But the fact is, Carly did commit that crime, and she got Drew into hot water when he didn't realize she was breaking his trust by engaging in insider or trading. So what I'm suspecting because of the last scene of the promo where Carly, Willow, and Michael kind of all stare in shock during the wedding at the door, I'm wondering if federal agents or whatever agents come to arrest people for SEC violations, Securities and Exchange Commission violations, arrest you. I don't know if that's U.S. Marshals or FBI. I don't know. But I wonder if there's a chance that Carly is going to be arrested at the wedding. So that will be very interesting, but it certainly looks like that it's coming out soon that way. And that's what Ava is talking to Nina about when she asks what she did. The bottom line is Nina reacts harshly when Carly craps on her. Remember when Sunny was Mike with the amnesia that she called to tell Carly the truth. Like I found him, he's in Nixon Falls, he's got amnesia. But when she got on the phone with her, Carly was really, really nasty to her. And even if you're team Carly, you know how much of a bulldog she can be and how just nasty she can be to people. That's like not even in question. Even if you're cheerleading for her, you have to admit she can just be harsh. And so that's why Nina didn't tell her. And of course, that still doesn't make it okay for Nina to have to kept that secret, but you kind of have to understand her motivation. And this time with Carly just basically telling her, you know, take a hike. You don't deserve to see your daughter get married. You're garbage. That's what pushed Nina again. And it's just back and forth, back and forth. And so I believe arrest is imminent in this insider trading case, and it should be very interesting. Now that we've told you all about the promo, we're going to show you the promo so you can see it for yourself, but be sure and click that subscribe button below if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our new general hospital updates and spoilers. Let us know in the comments what you think about the notion of Carly getting arrested. Do you think that Nina went too far, or do you think Carly went too far, or do you think they're just both way over the line at this point, and everybody who cares about them both may just be collateral damage in their war? Because because it's definitely getting messy on General Hospital. Michael and Willow's wedding sparks emotions. This is the happiest day in my life. It's not all good news, is it? And unforgiving bombshells. What did you do? 